boys and girls, you've seen that cupboard there. Now I'm extending it over this way. Um, so I've used them barley twist legs incorporated it into that cupboard there and it there. So I'm now going to put some coving around that top section where you see the plasterboard there just to give it that little bit of Edwardian elegance look. And then after that, it's making the doors. So I'm just going to PVA that plasterboard just to be on the same side and then get the coving on. And there it is with the coving on. Obviously it was painting the same colour green and uh, a little bit more filling. I only just put it up, just finished it. But yeah, that's pretty good, I think. Got some work to do on that bit there. But yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. There it is. Boom shackle. Looks well, doesn't it? Even though I do say it myself. But when that's all green, got the doors on, that'll be blind. Right then, so what we've got here is coving, which is going to be me cornice on top of one of the work units. So I basically mitered it to the size I want it, uh, put it on a piece of tin box, screwed it in place and then uh, put um, tile adhesive on them edges and round the back there. Probably gonna put some more on there. Put them two bits of timber in and screw them in through the sides. I might add a bit more timber on there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is upside down, obviously. And it's going to fix on top of that unit there. And I've got that to fill up and make good and do the doors and everything a bit on the end. But yeah, starting to uh, take shape, as they say. Well, there it is with the coving on, all painted. You find that looks quite good. <laughs> Look bad, does it? There you go. Not bad, not bad. Still a work in progress, obviously, but it looks better. Right then, now we've uh, put one door on and we've just done a bit of panelling on the side there. Um, what I've done is bought myself a little jig off eBay which allows me to do concealed hinges like on the um, rest of the kitchen. There I put brackets on so I'll, I'll probably change them at some point. I'll change them and I'm going to change them handles too big. Um, so what we've got here is three doors one two and three we'll have three doors on here and they'll all be in line with the corresponding doors here use plywood and we've done concealed hinges the same as that i mean yeah a bit of work to do on it yeah obviously but there they are and i was well chuffed with myself First time I've ever used one of these jigs to cut this out. Uh, cost me about 18, 20 quid, I think it was. And uh, quite easy to do, to be fair. But I'm well happy with that, well happy. It, it's just, it's just a whole new ball game, putting them on with the uh, kitchen, kitchen handles, same as that. Fantastic, well, well happy with that, well happy. I'll put some soft clothes hinges on it. And then down the side, I've done that. Just 
just use some hot, I think it's hardboard, just use some hardboard, cut it into strips, glued and nailed it on. Obviously it's all got to be painted yet, but that, that gives it that finish with the board around it, the same as that. I mean, it's not quite as thick as that, but you get the same effect. So I'm going to put that effect on the front of the three doors that go up here. And then like I say, get some soft close hinges. Uh, probably won't even need to get no magnetic things so it keeps it shut because I'll just fix bang on that does. I'm well happy with that, well happy. And here's the top of the um, COVID that's on top of that tall unit there. Six, who was it? Um, I don't know what they're called actually. 300 wide, isn't it? Tall loader. And then I'm going to put some board on top of that, I think. Some plyboard or something, just so you get a flat surface. But yeah, that was, uh, that took some work, that did, to get that on there. Like that. Did take some work. And then I'll have to repaint the kitchen, needless to say. But yeah, I'm going to start making them doors now. So happy days. And here we have the kitchen door hinge um, jig. Absolutely amazing bit of kit for about 20 quid. So you've got the clamps here and the drill bit there. And then basically just put it on. I'll show you that anyway. Right then, so there's the jig fitted uh on the door i think the only problem i had was adjusting these so when you clamp it it it, it clicks into place look um hard to do one-handed like so so i had to adjust them to the thickness of the wood there and then i'm just measuring for for me it differs with what you want to do, but uh, I'm just measuring two inches from there to the edge of there. Uh, and then just basically, you've got to make sure you get that fully flat on the timber where you want the hinges. So, yeah. Amazing bit of kit, I tell you what. It does look a bit scary at the beginning, thinking you're not going to be able to figure out what you got to do, but it, it is quite easy. So that just does a, a, a gap, leaves the same gap there as it does there, quite close to the wood. So you just want to make sure that that piece of timber there is nice and straight. But yeah, it just leaves a little gap. And what I do, I don't know if I'm doing it right, but I just drill the hole to the top of that um, drill piece there, that orange drill bit there. Just drill it that far down and it obviously do doesn't come through underneath.
of the Zah. So that's the stage I've got to so far. Just put some trim around that door. Just going to put some trim around there. Just so it blends in with them sort of doors. So it's a shame they're a bit short, but apart from that, um, yeah, looking quite good, I think. Um, might have to put some trim around that. I don't know yet. But so far, so good. All doors fit lovely, nicely lined up. And then just got to put some timber down that bottom there. Well, I just filled all the gaps with two pack filler. I know, not easy fill, two pack filler. And uh, I've just done those bits at the end there just to stop it looking like a bit of flat wood. So it sort of blends in with the doors. But yeah, looking all right. There you go. I'm just going to rub all that lot down now, I think. Yeah, that's alright, but looks all right. Right then, boys and girls, kitchen outbuilding project. It's been going for a while now because I get distracted and do one thing, then go and do something else. Um, but if you live in a terraced house, you are a bit short on space, and the ceilings are really, really high in these old terraced houses, 1900, 1920s were built. So, with me being a bit of a hauler, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I've had to devise some sort of cupboard space, as you can see, um, above the original uh, kitchen wall units. And I've got to admit, it really does elevate the height of these kitchens it really does show you how high these rooms are in in these old terraced houses and how you can neutralize the the space that you're not aware of so as you'll see behind me i'm just about finished just got to put the handles on uh, <clears throat> but because it, it gets dark quite quick i thought I'd just throw this little clip in just now. Let me show you what it looks like when it's nearly complete. Just got the handles, guys. I couldn't wait. I've got to show you. So, there it is. That coving's all on. Still got to top that coving to do boxing in. But there's the units up there. It's all done in um, a water... It's still wet, actually. Still, It's all done in a water-based satin from um, those people at Julux. <laughs> No bits in this one though, I don't think, but yeah, I think you'll agree It's starting to look quite good those cabinet doors there. I'm, I'm gonna have to change them and make them the same as that but um, Yeah, it, it, it's taught me near on two weeks to, to do that and build all that and paint it and Triple coat it. That's right. You were correctly triple coat so yeah, there it is, in all its glory, but yeah, well, I think you'll find, let's see if we can get a good shot for you, I think you'll find it's starting to look the business, there it is, there you go, I'll show you it with the handles on in a minute anyway. Well, there's the cupboard, all finished now. Handles on, painted. So I've just got to change the doors on them two up there, but that's all done. Coving is done. So yeah, happy days. Let's just open the cupboard doors. And there it is with the doors open. As you can see, full of Nice empty jars ready for this year's honey harvest from my bees in my back garden. Hey, so it's all about look, you're a fighter. 
But yeah, I think you'll agree. It looks pretty well, doesn't it? So, I hope you've enjoyed the content of this video. If you have, don't forget to like, subscribe and share to see what you can do in your terraced house. Plus the outbuilding there that's not finished. But yeah, I think you'll agree that the kitchen looks a lot higher with them cupboards there. It sort of finishes the, well, sort of fills that gap in at the top, makes the old kitchen look really big.